Go watch that Starforge review. I'm actually really curious. Also very scared. Linus Tech Tips made a video about Starforge. Should we watch it? Yeah, I watched the Linus video earlier. Not on stream, but I did watch it. As you guys see, uh, Linus Tech Tips, a uh, very well-known uh, content reviewer, has reviewed Starforge Systems, my PC company. Oh boy. All right. Linus Tech Tips. Very scared. I'm kind of nervous, dude. I'm kind of nervous. All right, here we go. On the surface, I understand the appeal. System building looks like a pretty easy gig. Yep. At a thousand bucks a pop, all you gotta do is sell three of these a day. And that's a million, a million dollars. dollar company. Easy, that's not right? how it works at all. Except for a few small problems. The margins are piss poor. True. The chances of shipping damage, oh, are extremely high. And no offense, but the customers are a nightmare. That's true. <laughs> well, I, I can't. I can't laugh on that. For everything, there's nothing that I can do about. Yes, no, 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 no. All of customers which are is great, why guys. I'm really skeptical totally about the great. survival of Star Forge Systems. Everything about it screams doomed to fail. Thank you. Oh. Like the ownership group being a bunch of Twitch streamers. What is that picture they used of me? What the? F All right. With no obvious business acumen. To be fair, I did go to business school, but okay. The executive team being composed primarily of ex-employees of Artesian yes. Builds, uh -huh. a system builder that only recently imploded in spectacular fashion. Builded. To be fair, all of the ex-employees were the good ones, right? The ones that like aren't the reason the reason the company failed. And the absolute cherry on top, the reveal went so poorly that aforementioned Twitch streamers <laughs> started to perm They really, they, they're gonna put me right up there, huh? Can you believe this? Wow aforementioned Twitch streamers started perma-banning their critics. That is true. That did happen, and it did go badly. <laughs> this was on Ms. Kiff's stream, okay? This is not, we did not make this decision, but this was on Ms. Kiff's stream. So, we purchased their Horizon Creator Edition PC, 3,500 US dollars. Is it a That's good deal? That's the top of the line Is one. it well built? Does it work at all by the time it arrives? It's a deceptively challenging business. New Egg screwed it up on their first attempt. Walmart royally screwed it up and doesn't seem to have recovered. NCIX screwed it up too. So the road Starforge is walking is littered with the corpses of everyone else who has attempted to survive <laughs> yes. in this yeah. business. It is. Long -term. Just maybe they've That's got what true. it takes though. Let's talk a little bit more about the Starforge Systems team. It was okay. created by a collection of Twitch streamers, notably Moist Critical and One True King Network, which includes Asmon Gold, Ms. Kiff, and a number oh. of other notable streamers. <laughs> crossed out. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, how long are we gonna leave this here? Come on. It's going to be run <laughs> by the ex COO of Artesian Builds. The COO is the one that basically runs the show. Yeah, he's the one that does all the work. But doesn't necessarily get to make all the decisions. So yeah. they certainly brought in someone with experience. However, that experience didn't help them with the launch. There was immediate backlash to their high prices and supposedly terrible, were they terrible? Yeah. Oh, and terrible configs. Yeah, we f***ed that up. Like, I mean, it, it, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Like, there ain't no hiding it. Let me clarify, because I don't think this video is gonna cover it. I think it went badly because there was like one PC that was put in, it was not a good PC. And then they went back and they fixed it. And now it's crazy good. And it should have been changed from the beginning. A lot They're of not care wrong. to order this PC anonymously. I actually have no idea what I just got for 3,500 US dollars. All right, let's That's see. That's a lot. Oh wait, due to the controversy, we actually were refunded $200. For okay, all right, see? See, we did something right. How about that? We get, we refunded it and, and we gave them some of the money back because we uh, we like prorated the value of the PCs. All, all right, guys, it's at least one W, okay? In fairness to them, absolutely nothing seems to have been damaged in shipping though, not even any. All right, okay, all right. I'm a little feeling a little bit better now. This isn't that bad, okay? It's another W. This PC has apparently passed 3D Mark. Last I checked, 3D Mark is not actually a pass fail test. I'm actually just being a butthead about that. That's a very <laughs> valid way to burn in a system and make sure that it is functioning correctly. All right, we got, yeah, we got three W's so far. This is going pretty well. With that out of the way, I guess we can take a little bit of a closer look at the system. We're using. I'm just nervous. It's like, don't say anything bad, please. <laughs> Be gentle. Nice to have. I <laughs> yeah. I would have liked to see little peels like this probably pulled off since there's no need for the customer to remove that, but that's a nitpick. Oh, that's I disagree. I think that peeling the things off, that's like a f 
ASMR satisfying feeling thing. I like peeling the stuff off. I think it's I think it's fun. It's like this weird like just satisfying thing to do. It feels good to peel the bitch off. It does. Oh, that's fun though. I like them. Uh, yeah, I see, it's know. fun. Is it, okay. This four pin is not quite seated. That clip's not fully engaged. It's probable that the system will work, but if I pull on this. You can see it's not actually secured in any way. Oh my God. Well, this other one has half of it not engaged either. Okay, that's not good. You got, you got to make sure the clips are engaged, guys, especially if you're going to ship the system. Approaching well, this let me look at that. Sure the I see, because it, so it, it's not like this one, it's like this one. That, yes, that is an L. That is a big L. I want to make it clear that I'm not approaching this skeptically because it's Twitch streamers doing it. I'm approaching it skeptically because I know how easy this business appears to be and yet how many little things are very difficult to get right. Cable management actually I would say is a strong A minus. But all right. Well, actually, all right. That's good. I'd, I'd give it an A. Hell yeah, the cable man. Yeah, all right, that's good. Ariel, let's, let's go, go Ariel. Now. Case, a is go good. I haven't looked at the back yet. Courtesy connector for a future GPU upgrade. Actually, do like to see that, even though it's a modular power supply. Extra cables, stuff because the hard drive cages. I'm fine with that. Wi-Fi antennas, power cable. Okay. Yes. Is this just some trendy thing that I'm not trendy enough to understand? Yes. Okay, definitely a couple of mistakes, and I have some big lingering questions about the value proposition, but nothing too egregious so far. Go ahead. All right, that's pretty good. Nothing too egregious so far. This is sounding a lot like most of the things that I do. Go ahead and peel the front panel, and moment of truth. You guys ready? Please. Oh, that is a very uninspiring light up feature. Surely it lights up a little more than that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> see, <laughs> see? Wait, till, wait for Windows. I'm so scared. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> looking. Oh, I stopped really breathing. Good. Is this just paper? Are you guys serious? Oh, hey, that's what that thing is. Oh. It's a this thing. Definitely gonna be a polarizing feature, but I for one appreciate that they chose a penis rocket. Okay, no. all right. Let's, 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 okay, let's, okay, all right, all right. Look, deny all right. that this is no, a it's rocket. clearly a penis rocket. Okay. <laughs> it's, a it's a hammer! It's a hammer! If you so look fun. at this, it's not a dick. It's just a hammer. It's like Thor's hammer upside down. This is clearly supposed to be a fucking balls. Do you I will say, when it comes to the penis rocket, I surprisingly, de despite the people being in the room, we did not realize what was going on. We already had the logos made. We had everything done. At that point, we're like, okay, like we launch on this day, we're committed. We're the penis rocket. It is what it is. <laughs> Dude, it? I actually thought that people would think it was a hammer. I really did. It is though, it's, God damn it. Well, we can't change it now. Very quiet. Good fan curve tuning. I just noticed something. Oh no. What? Oh my God. The power LED is plugged in backwards. There's just no excuse for it. When the legend for what plugs into where, it's also a royal pain in the Bro. butt for the end user to try to fix this. Look, it is, all right. I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty small. It's pretty small text. At least it's not catching on fire. All right, guys? And you can't be a professional PC building company <laughs> and be bunging stuff up like that. Yeah, that I actually shouldn't happen. That is a f up. The thermal Some people might see that as a, as a small detail, but it's, it's, it 100% shouldn't happen. I can't fault the acoustics. So, it's so. quite quiet, all things considered. Please. No complaints about performance Light us no either. more. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a 3080 Ti. Okay, Penis Rocket Computer Company. Stop it. After a couple of little errors out of the gate, although kind of embarrassing ones, I think it's time for us to take a look at what else is in the market and see how you stand up. While Starforge has existed for only a couple of months, having streamers behind it means at the very least there are public personas who can suffer damage to their brand reputation if Starforge screws over their customers. The and and it means that they will have fairly deep pockets to keep the company running in at least the short to medium term. And from what I can tell anyway, they seem to be building towards doing everything properly in the long term. While they did kind of screw up the Ubi. One thing that I keep hearing, it's, it's ran by Twitch stream. Bro, this shit is not run by Twitch streamers. It is ran by the COO. We are just marketing and we just promote it. I, you think I'm sitting here? No, but it's like, it's ran by Twitch streamers. It's gonna fail. It's like, bro, 
It's not. From what I've been told, I'm not gonna bring them up anymore. But okay. I'm also not gonna be giving you guys any pity points. Great. You do need to figure out the QC errors that resulted in some of our connectors not being fully plugged in and some of them being incorrectly connected. We've provided this. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna look at mine after this. I mean, there's literally no excuse for it. It's up. Yeah, obviously in the grand scheme of things it could have been a lot worse, but also these things couldn't didn't these did not have to happen. Also, need to be delivering a solid price to performance ratio if we're going to be able to recommend your system. Okay. And I have some great news for you guys. Okay. Starforge system here actually did pretty well. Hell yeah. All right. There we go. When you compare them to the competition where system integrators might forget yep. or forego features like XMP, while the likes of Dell might give you a I'm proprietary so motherboard this. that has no expandability or HP might Let's go, have the dude. Hell the yeah. Sets really Hell well, yeah. Have much All right. Work. See, we're doing pretty well, guys. Yeah, this is actually pretty good compared to the others. Yeah, this I, I'm I'm happy. However, uh, there are still 3 more minutes left in the video. Judging the value proposition though, is a little bit more difficult. Obviously, oh, when compared Stop to there, a Linus. DIY system, <laughs> Starforge gets crushed. No. We were able to build something with identical specs that cost, I kid you not, $900 less. In fairness to Starforge, that did include a recent price drop on the 3080 Ti, but even so, it was way we cheaper. Look at that. Building a DIY system will save you money. I should and say. it will always do that. DIY will always save you money, every single time. I should certainly hope so. But things start to get more interesting once we start comparing to other SIs. So while I buy power will build you a PC for roughly the same price, that one doesn't come with a light up cock and balls in it. That's I right. <laughs> big downside. That's and right. looking at the <laughs> tier two fancy system builders. Hey, the cock and balls doesn't sound that bad after all, huh? Yeah, look at that. Hey guys, look, it's pretty good, right? Look at that, that's that's what you call value, all right? At this point, I think it's fair to say that Starforge's pricing broadly makes sense, especially since their $100 drop and their build adjustments. Yeah, clip it. Oh, well, you know what? Let's listen to it again. I think this is a great idea. Yeah, let's listen to this one again. I think it's fair to say that Starforge's pricing broadly makes sense that is so true. I completely agree. Wait, he's not going to say but, right? Especially since they're- Especially? That's even more the case. While they clearly have a couple of kinks to work out, I'd say if they're still around in six months and you like the streamers and OTK, then Starforge seems like they might be as good an option as any other SI on the market. Let's go. Wow. Of course, the best option Look at is that. always the option to segue to our sponsor. Why not save time and energy and- most <laughs> yeah, I held North my breath the entire the time. If you guys enjoyed this video, gosh, we don't really do a whole lot of pre-built PC reviews. I guess I'll throw back to the last uh, secret shopper. That's cool. They, yeah, they don't do a whole lot of pre-build reviews, but they, they still did ours. Feedback. I think this is really good. I, I, I love that Linus did a video. And, and like I said, I, I have a lot of respect for Linus in the way that he approaches things. I will consider this an overall W. I, I'm glad that I'm glad it's gone so well. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really glad that, that he did the video. I think this is a very good feedback, very good criticism. Overall positive with some really good helpful criticism, which will of course be used to help us get better. But yeah, overall it was a very positive and enjoyable video. So in conclusion, if you're willing and able to build, buy and build your own PC, you're gonna save money doing it. If you're not willing to do it and you'd like to buy a pre-built PC for like the, the two year warranty of all that jazz, along with not actually having to build it, etc., it is a good option. With some plugs that apparently were not shoved all the way in and one thing, the lights weren't on correctly and it got fixed. That's pretty much it. This is a good video. Congrats on the review from Linus. A solid review from one of the biggest tech reviewers on YouTube is huge. Thanks, dude. Speaking of huge, who modeled for the cock and balls logo?